Let me tell you a tale of my final embrace. I was born to a noble, courageous, and intelligent man, who brought me up for four years within his shrouds of love. When I fell, he ran for my protection. When I called, he raced to answer. It was only his chest that would fall asleep, but my eyes saw rest and peace as his heartbeat whispered their lullaby in my ears. However, one day my father stood up against the tyrannical king of the time. He stood against the cruelties done to his people. He stood for justice, freedom, and liberty. The day my father left us in the hot desert and ascended his horse to ride into the battlefield, I crawled on my hands and knees, clogged onto his horse's hooves, crying and pleading for the horse not to move. My father turned around and descended from his horse. He smiled as he opened his arms to me, and I ran into his cradle, unknowingly that this was our final embrace. I held him so tight and lovingly, not letting him go. My final embrace fell not, but only for a moment. Within those moments, I witnessed a lifetime of tenderness and affection of a father towards his daughter. Finally, I fell asleep on his chest. My eyelids locked together. I saw women and children calling out for freedom. A freedom my father had vowed to fight for. I got up immediately, with an endless stream of tears in my eyes. I said to my father, "Thank you for your final embrace." The days and months that followed my father's death, I saw nothing but agony and imprisonment, enforced by the cruel king on the woman of my family. However, I stood up tall. Held my head high and spoke boldly of my father's great mission and his heroic sacrifice. Hence, sincere and courage in the hearts of people, leading to an imminent revolution against a despotic ruler. But one day, my little four-year-old body succumbed to the tortures of the king and fell upon the cold floor of the prison, with my soul slowly elevated upwards to meet the Creator. In His infinite mercy, He returned me to my beloved Father, not for a final embrace, but for an eternal embrace.